Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be playing some more tabs. Uh, so my schedule is kind of I thinking of playing Minecraft and tabs. And uh, if I have a time play it uh, two times in a day. I think that's a very good schedule or sometimes free if uh, we get the opportunity. So, you know, uh, so like if you, you know, want to see that, this kind of content. I think it's pretty nice. So... Today I think we're going to test out shields against arrows, cause it's pretty cool. So I think we have to go to the simulation and uh, this bridge. Alright, so we're going to start with a protector, you know, just see how he does in general. I think we're going to do this kind of nice little formation. Like, just split them over here randomly. So it's 55 over here, now I think we may, we're going to start with a standard medieval archer And I think we've gotta give him a nice firing line Like, okay, I think Something in this particular fashion Have Okay, they must be outnumbered for it to work, kind of we're kind of good if you find out. Okay, let's put one leader, Robin Hood, shall we say, the volunteer for the archers, you know, one of the great like openers in wars where they shoot one guy, you know. Okay, so it's 59, so it's kind of. We can still place a couple units over here, so I'm just going to quickly do it. You know, uh, I think that's enough, yeah. Okay, so it first zooms you out. You know, alright, so let's see how the protectors do. Okay, the first shot fired. You should, oh, oh, Wally, there we go, killing. Okay, headshot. Oh, it's okay, a lot of them have been taken down in that first Wally. Okay, oh, some crucial shots. There we go, Fi Archer still firing. Are we going to get, yes, we're going in a third Wally off. Okay, that's a third volley. Oh, the protectors made it in the lines. Okay, so now we're messing stuff up for the archers. But we're not really killing them that fast. Which is why the archers still have an opportunity to fire and knock them off. As you can see, uh, kind of a very efficient strategy. Okay, they're still knocking arrows. Still firing. The protectors are strange strong, but we're getting cut down. I mean, shot down by these archers. Yeah, there we go. No, they don't really do much damage. But I mean, they did pretty good. They killed a solid amount of hunters before they eventually succumbing to the arrows. Alright, come on. Right now, it's just a matter of time. Like, he can't really kill all of them. He'll rather get knocked off or shot by arrows. Okay, so, I mean, he's doing... He's probably the commander or... Yeah, there we go. He, I think he got shot in... Wait a second, where did he get... Arriver in the leg. Oh yeah, I think he got shot in the leg. Yeah. Mm. Probably Achilles heel, something like that. Okay, so that's the protectors we did. I mean a respectable amount of work. I mean we technically count as an archer specialist blockade, but Okay, so let's just uh, see how the farmer faction will do. Uh probably good. Like these fellas are very good at blocking range, I feel I feel like. So, okay, not to really put them too close to the edge, I feel like he will, will give him the advantage of, uh, oh yes, I think let's do about that, or maybe just, just like a little bit less, cause I think we're very good, actually no, yeah, alright, let's just do it, okay, oh, a lot of archers just fell out, that's not really bad, okay, where it is, this is his perspective, so alright, shot an arrow, there we are. Alright, volleys are getting fired, okay, arrows firing, shots taken, okay, yes, nice little volley, oh, probably is dead, okay, the, okay, the archers are kind of doing actually a very good job here, getting a third salvo off before succumbing to them, okay, now it's uh, close quarters combat, uh, we are, we have these sticks which are, very, they are pretty efficient, so I think we'll be able to dispatch with them. 
or but uh, but again we archers okay, might no. pull off a victory but I'm not really sure I'm not really sure we can like there are just too many of them I must say a lot of them both have died so archers did do something but uh, yeah the farmers are did win and we had like one two like a seven or eight uh, men alive so like the archers didn't really do that uh, <coughs> that terrible okay and that's one okay so now we have the shield bearer uh, this is uh, like a full shield like this is how we represent it okay let's see if they are going to be able to kill them or uh, get in the lines I think uh, they will do a little bit better than the protectors because yeah but maybe uh, maybe something strange will happen but uh, yeah okay let's just give them mass numbers I feel like we should add number of archers yeah the, yeah that's uh, yeah that's well okay let's see again archers are falling off not the best AI I hope they will sometime later improve the AI so we don't so we don't just walk off like the, and we can probably snipe them with this range probably like a version of snipers all right and the fierce shot has been fired into a shield Is it? oh headshots 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 oh yeah there, are, there has been a couple of headshots okay okay arrows are being knocked oh that's a lot of arrows being absorbed Okay, the archers didn't do uh, as well as I thought they would. But once again, uh, you can play the same battle over and over and get a different result. Oh, we're pushing them off the edge. That's actually a very nice strategy, which I don't really think it's a strategy. They just kind of hope it works out. Which seems to be working out in their favor, we're just falling off. But I must say, these shields are pretty effective as well. You know, dispatching them. But like, it's kind of funny how the archers are just tanking it and yeah, they're alive. So I think the archers are going to win. There's uh, like a lot more archers than our shielders, and they're still killing them even though we have these shields. Their legs and their head is uh, exposed to the elements. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So the archers winning. They had like a lot of men left. So. And they outnumbered them, so yeah, they did a little bit better, I would say, but still fell off. Okay, hoplites technically count as shields, so all right, let's just use this real quick. I think the Spartans are well, the Spartan hoplites, I keep calling it, yeah, they're just hoplites, they're no Spartans. Okay, so I think they. I think we might win like we have lesser shields so our shields are not really that good of a defense but I mean we do have very good melee okay so let's see a first fierce shot oh I don't know if we hit oh oh there we are the Spartans are feeling okay the first okay arrows being knocked again Alright, the Spartans are not really taking that many losses. There's like oh yeah. I think I got this. Yeah. I definitely got this. Uh, although some of them are oh yes, yes, the same strategy, but we do have spears so we do a lot more damage to them. And even though the strategy seems to be working, it's not really working. Alright, I'm gonna try to kind of uh, see if I can get the snipe. Oh yeah, so yeah, we uh, definitely won that. Uh, I mean, we didn't really have a lot of troopers left, which is surprising because when we started, we had a lot of them. Like when we were attacking, we had a lot of them. But uh, I guess archers did do some serious work there. All right, so now I think we're going to move on to the Vikings. Uh, the brawler are actually one of my uh, favorite units. Like. Something about them is just so cool is that how they look 
and like where weapon attack and how we look like we just love everything the axe and the shields so yeah i kind of love them uh, so yeah let's see if uh, our, the brawler are going to be able to do this yeah going to be actually uh, okay i think that's enough the archers have still an advantage because the shields are quite small and um i think uh, they are going to start okay let's see how smart their ai little brain is okay yep getting mowed down yep we're falling off but we're still going even though we do are yeah we're literally dropping off but okay we're doing big damage we're swinging the sword we're swinging the axes oh and uh, i think yeah even though there are great warriors they just simply just fell off and the archers are coming down to finish them you know snipe me there you know do a cool stunt so even though we had twice the men i mean like on two men more they still lost okay so that's for the vikings and the dynasty samurai can block projectiles so let's see how we do oh that one just did a backflip backflip all right there we go okay hmm samurai are kind of pretty good at blocking range so we'll see how this does i think i'm going to like me mesh a little bit over here and uh i will have uh, a leader following them back okay so let's see how we do the first arrow deflected oh but here comes the other massive uh, amount of arrows there we go so we can't really black block all of them which is good for the archers and bad for the samurai so as you can see they are getting cut down and but they have made it towards the front lines the archers are still shooting they're still uh, getting uh, heavy losses but there's still a lot of them and they're actually pretty good at fighting in melee so i feel like with all of those skills they are going to be able to win here Although, by just by a little bit, because because I think some of them did fall off. Like the AI is not the best here. But now that there are little archers, see, there's not many archers, and, and when there are not that many archers, uh, that you know the amount mass of amounts just fails and uh, they get cut down. Oh, yeah, straight in my knees. This time I saw the arrow that hit you in my knees. It's the Samurai Katana Sword. Hmm. So yes, they also won. Now this is the Dynasty Renaissance. Renaissance doesn't really have any. Oh, I guess the painters kind of dodge the arrows. Which is not seriously, it's not really gonna work. They all will just fall off. But uh, we'll give it a shot, so... But like... I think we all know that we're just going to fall off, which is why we're going to you know, give them better numbers where we are. 80, okay, 80 men versus uh, just 62 archers, and uh, the first arrow knocked, and already very free. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter how much you put them, they're still gonna die. I mean, unless they kind of get there until the archers can't reload so the only way they could have won there is if they actually just <coughs> got lucky with that that the archers just couldn't really reload in time but uh, yeah he's the last one and he's dead so yeah the archers definitely won that one and they had a lot of men and uh, although some of them fell off it doesn't really even matter so yes and okay now that we have done that for pirates i mean i guess they have blunderbusses which are like i mean the armor is pretty efficient at stopping them so i guess i uh, will just give them a line of blunderbusses over here you know for a pirate faction all right okay right, come on mouse sometimes it's annoying a little bit that i can't really place them as uh, good as 
Uh, that's even more my computer is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this computer. It's uh, actually very good. Okay, so just some blend random blender buses in the back. And let's see how we do. So we can also shoot, but we get knocked back and when we don't really have really good range, like a bad range. So I think the archers are going to take a victory here. First arrow being fired. Oh, yep, oh, that's a lot of arrows. There we are. Oh, friendly fire for the archers. Okay. And this. Yep, the blunder buses are getting cut down. Oh, but we are still doing it. See? Yeah, we're definitely falling off. Archers are still knocking arrows. But uh, we are falling. And, uh, but I think what. Bobolon, this is my have a chance. I think the blunder buses are going to win. Even though we have that uh, knockback. Yeah, we're definitely going to win that. Hmm, wow. Which is a little bit surprising considering they have probably the second higher chest, uh, chance of falling off. Which it did happen, as you can see. Definitely did happen. And he is very lucky because he is still alive. He's not really at the sudden death zone just yet. <laughs> okay, so that's a pirate faction. Now we're moving on to the spooky faction. Skeleton warriors have shields. Uh, so yeah, let's see how they do. They don't really have uh, big shields. But uh, we do have numbers on their side because we do. We are very cheap indeed. Uh, we're actually kind of a very good unit because uh, in uh, situations like this they can scare the enemy off. Which I think is a, a very good tactic for them. Uh, yeah, Landfalls has really done a great job of this. So 72 versus 62. The archers are going to fall off. Yes, there we are. And uh, let's see about this first shot here. The opening archer fired. Hitting a shield. Oh, but that comes the wally. Rippling room. Yeah, there we go. Here we are, all of them are thrown now. All of them are taking some severe losses, let's see from this perspective. Yeah. I am not really sure we're going to win this one. Okay, and there we go. Skeletons, wow, yeah, the skeletons have been mowed and now the archers are marching in, yes. One of them, one of them, yeah. One of them fell off over there. So wow, I actually expected them to get over there and uh, actually kill them, but their shields were very small, so it's, you know, it's kind of understandable that it didn't really last very long. Also, I think we can place just a few more archers there. Yeah. 64. Okay. Wild West cactuses there. I actually tested it before and uh, the cactuses are like very good at uh, stop and range and I think we're going to destroy them. I mean it's just my opinion, I think they do have the power to do it. Uh, I might be mistaken but... Okay, I think... I think that this will be enough. Okay, maybe just that. Oh, and of course, their cacti leader. You know, their general. To lead it. It's like an archer rebellion. You know, where all of the archers are, uh, you know, fighting because everyone accused them of, you know, their archery. Archers are actually very good in this game, like. Out of a melee unit, you would probably want to arrange unit rather than a. Uh, you know, melee unit. Yeah, so here we go. They're moving into the lines, and like that, arrow absorption is insane. And uh, as you can see, yeah, we're definitely gonna win this one. Only like a few of them died over here. So this just proves how good they are at this. Mm. Yeah, I didn't actually expect them to win by that much, but uh, they are successful. Okay, so let's see, the legacy, 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 it doesn't, legacy I don't really think has a, a unit, 
but we might as well see a cavalry charge. Three of them. Or maybe four just for interest. The cavalry are probably going to get either just shot or fall of ages, which is Okay, an arrow has been shot. Millions more arrows have been shot. Okay, the second is moving in. And yes, falls off. And yes, that's an ultra victory also. So, I think that archers are very good. Because we, even though we do have our counters, we can still put up a fight and even kill those counters. Okay, so now we have the good which are these celestial ages which are just the butterfly people you can easily just call them that uh we're very good at stopping them i think and i think we're going to win because because that blockability is kind of insane which is why we're just going to do uh, this amount <coughs> but once their shield goes down we're pretty exposed to arrow fire so yeah we are ranged just, it's just that they have very bad range. Okay, there we are. There's this fluffy arrow. Oh, and there we go, a fierce volley. Okay, the first volley has gone, but now it's their range. Okay, so we are firing. Oh, yeah. We're getting cut down. But now we're in range. Will it be enough to kill them? I don't think so. The archers are still knocking fire and at considerable rate okay now the butterfly people are attacking but it's not gonna be enough i feel like yeah and there we are these two were the final ones and uh we did get shot in uh hmm, looks like the stomach yeah like the stomach area oh the spine yeah that one got shot in the spine brutality but we did some you know, we did a good job. Also, the Radiant Glaives uh, are also ranged, but we're kind of more ranged and not really that on blocking uh, any fire. So, I think uh, this is uh, good enough for the good faction. So, now we're moving on the evil faction. Uh, you know, these, these guys are also very. Uh, I feel like they're also unique. They're not really my favorite, uh, one of my favorite units. But I feel like they have a potential to be. Like they look cool and you know, they have a cool design. They, <coughs> yeah, those shields turn into axes, which I think a lot of people know because I know that some people don't really use them often. I also, um, I don't really also use them, but I know their abilities. Like, I know them very good. And I think that they do have, they do stand a pretty good chance of winning. Those, <coughs> those shields turn into axes, and because of that, I feel like we are going to win. And those shields are pretty effective at their job, so let's see. And let's see as the first arrow goes. Boom. Get shot, but now the Wally follows up. Oh wow, we're pretty efficient at this. As you can see, axes. Okay, but they are being taken down. They yeah, are being cut down. But now that the wall is over, they are moving in and there is a lot of them. I expected archers to do a little bit better, but they are still very cool. Yeah, and where they are, they're just uh, moving them down. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad for them. And where we go. Uh, we have taken some big losses over here. I mean, that's quite a lot of them, and they are pretty exceptional warriors, so... And 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 some of them are still going to fall off. Okay, so now that I feel we've done with that, there's just the secret units left. So let's see, Balloon or no, Fan or no, Raptor no... Actually, Raptor... Yeah, let's do first, let's just do a Raptor charge. I feel like uh, this will be pretty good. Raptor charge. Yeah. Raptors are, once again, they have the potential to be uh, one of my favorite units, but mm, just not really. We don't, re don't really just have it in them to be like. I mean, I still love them. They are pretty good. Oh, there we are. 
Oh, and there it is, the Swally. Wow, we're actually way faster than I imagined. Are we going to be able to be kill them for Yeah, okay, so we're shooting, yes. And I think we are going to kill them. Yeah, there we go, just a mosh pit over here. Yeah. Oh, oh, and I think some of them are falling off with them, but it doesn't really matter because there's still a considerable bound. Okay, so... Is there actually someone still alive in this? Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and spot them. Is, is it you? You? Oh yeah, it's him. Look at him. He's trapped under here. Okay, let's see if I can get him out of here. Oh, it doesn't need to. It doesn't matter. Raptors one. Yeah. So now, oh, let's do a Raptor Rider charge. Although let's not really do it uh, too big, as uh, we've already seen. Yeah, let's do a twelve. Normally these, uh, <coughs> yeah, for yeah, these Raptor Riders are like from the Ice Age, you know. You no. Know? There we go. Okay, so that's the first volley, and we're still going through. Okay. Yeah, they've dealt with pretty much dealt with them. And yeah, there we go. Looks like he got stabbed in uh, the stomach and got carved down like a slice to his foot. Wow. That's a pretty exceptional skill. Let's see, are there any more blockers over here? Which oh, oh the skeleton giant does have it. Okay, let's do three skeleton giants. Yeah, so here we are. The spooky faction uh, was very mad that they lost the battle to the archers with their skeleton warriors, so they've brought them. They just ate a lot of things and they got giant. Like they probably ate someone's brain. And there we go. Skeletons are now giant. Alright, the first arrow knocked into a shield. Okay, there we go. Are we going to. Yeah, we're all. Wait. Okay. We just all fell off, which is. You know, understandable. It's actually very bad AI. Oh, let's. But now let's actually do a proper uh, cavalry charge. Where we are. Let's do 6 of them, cause. I feel like it's good. Yeah. Uh, I also have a feeling that the cavalry is going to win because, uh, you know, some of these times uh, the cavalry really do do amazing against it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Two horses are still alive. One horse is still alive with its rider. There we are. Got shot. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's just. The archers are really smart, either the archers are smart or it is just bad AI. They literally just stood there and like, oh, go down there. Oh, if they didn't actually dodge, they just uh, fell down with him. But the archers still won. Okay, so let's see uh, if there's any more units. I don't really think any more units are going to be. Oh, well. Okay, so now. I feel like we have to end it off with a very good archer battle where all of the archers are going to fight. So we're going to start off with the uh, ancients uh, uh, archers, giving them a line of. Where we are, that's a nice line. And I am going to give them uh, all banner bears because I feel like they're not really good archers without banner bears. Like, yeah. So where we go to archer? Lines. Okay, now just the regular archers. Oh, wait, there's the squires actually. There we are. Let's see you now. There we go. A proper, all good fashion line of archers. Now, let's see. I'm not really going, I think. I'm not really going to account those archers. Okay, when we are going to use the ice archers which uh, I mean they're kind of good I mean I don't say they're fantastic or but they do do their job so 
Van with Firework Archers. Uh, also one of my favorite units uh, and I think we all know why. You know, because let's be honest. Here, it is very hilarious to see units go ahead and fly and explode. It's very satisfying. Okay, so now we're going to get another Bender Bearer. Okay, where we go. So now, uh, now that we've done that, it's time for Balloon Etchers. There we are. Balloon Etchers are very good if you use them and kind of annoying if you go up against them because we're just delaying. We're not really for killing, we're just for delaying. Okay, muskets don't really count, I feel like. Oh, and of course. Another one of my favorite units, the Skeleton Archer. I just love it. Here we are. The guns, uh, I don't really think will count. And I think that's all. I'm not really... I know that there's still a lot of range units, but I feel like we can ju do just this. 109. So now, uh, classically, I feel like we're going to do all of the leaders of all the factions actually i don't really think that the scarecrow will be quite good for the act so we are going to send uh, in its place like uh, 150 dollars worth of you know just uh, girls with scythes and medieval uh, the king is very good for his act okay the ancient i feel like Zeus, uh, yeah, Zeus will be very chaotic. Or Ballistan. Okay, so now we have the Jarl. You know, one, also one of my favorite units for, you know, his axe and everything. Okay, a Monkey King. Monkey King, and also, okay, let's see, the Renaissance. Uh, da Vinci tank is kind of just a tank, but let's just say Da Vinci just came up, uh, you know, with his painter. Let's just say that Da Vinci likes to paint. Uh, I think we'll add a few royal guards here. Okay, the pirate, we have a pirate queen. Uh, very good at tanking damage, and she's uh, really going to tank that damage. Uh, I mean, again, she might walk off, but yeah. And now we're Reaper. Reaper. Reaping everybody. Rest in peace, you guys. Okay, the quick draw. Also one of my favorite units. Like I just like like him. His look and his gun. Like the stalemate. Okay, now the legacy. Hmm. For Gandalf. Yeah, we're going to say that. Actually, four might be too chaotic. A wizard? Yeah, the wizard. He's the leader. Gandalf. Oh, and uh, speaking about Gandalf, we will bring some hobbits. Pippin, Sam, Frodo, Mary. There we go. And uh, Bilbo Baggins. There we go. Okay, now... Oh, now we have like... Gimli and all that stuff. Gimli is with the Jarl. It's a very good unit for him. The Fellowship of... You know, the Lord of Rings. Very good game. Hey, now... Let's see, for a good faction, Chronomancer might be a little bit too overpowered. I feel like... Sacred Elephant... Divine Arbiter. Yeah, I think Divine Arbiter. He's uh, like very fitting of the act with those robes. See? He does very look like he knows all of what he's doing with that mustache and that book. He knows what he's doing. Okay, the evil, we just can't uh, say that. The barrel rock, you know, he, he kind of looks in the barrel rock when he transforms, so yeah. So there we go. 22 versus 109, but these are very OP units, including these guys, the hobbits, they're very OP. So let's see if we can beat them. I think the archers are going to lose because, once again, we are talking about the fellowship. Here. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. 
Okay, here we go. The mammoth. Oh, one. One guy is just itching for battle, okay. Why aren't they firing at it? Wait, is it? Oh, there we are. There it is. The mammoth is so dead. There's just so much fire going in. Oh, and there it is. They are also going in. It's not even going to be enough. Oh, here's the battle rock. I feel like he's going to die. Come on, kill the battle rock. If we kill the battle rock, they have a chance. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, the battle rock is a little bit overpowered. Okay, and the reaper, and... Yeah, the battle rock, he won. Like, very cool. It's actually, it was very cool uh, watching Gandalf and the battle rock work together. You know. Also, I think that this is a very good act for Saruman. I think it kind of looks like him. Okay, so I think this is going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed, leave a like uh, and I'll see you next time.